West Nile virus still spiking in mosquitoes right now here in North Texas, but it's not turning up as much in people who, as Jason Allen reports, obviously have their attention on another illness. For several North Texas summers now, residential runoff and stagnant water just hasn't harbored many mosquitoes carrying West Nile virus. But in 2020, it's back. And it is a serious, serious warning for our public to take action starting now. Tarrant County's public health director urged action this week, especially by residents, to spray and treat any mosquito breeding ground they see. West Nile positive mosquitoes have turned up in five North Texas counties this season, and Tarrant County leads the state. But there have been only two human cases found, one each in Tarrant and Dallas, where the focus has been on testing for COVID-19. Somebody comes into the ER with a fever and a headache and body ache, we should be looking for COVID-19. But since West Nile is also in the radar and during the summer months, we as healthcare professionals, we are trained to have that in the differential diagnosis and look for those as well. The symptoms of COVID-19, fever, fatigue, body aches, cough, and shortness of breath, can sometimes be similar to West Nile. Fever, fatigue, body aches, and sometimes a rash or confusion. Medical City Infectious Disease Specialist, Dr. Priya Subramanian, told us 80% of people won't even get symptoms, but if they do, they should consider West Nile is out there. Most of them don't get tested because for the same reason, they do not seek medical help. But I think if the question arises, you should at least make a phone call to just clarify it. There are at least four instances this year in Tarrant County of people donating blood that later tested positive for West Nile. Health officials are hopeful that action from residents, especially if they have spots like this on their yard or property, can help keep the virus in check. In Tarrant County, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News.